Um, so before we start on this NAMM calibrator, which we'll do in a minute, uh, what I want you to do is just to register for this flood and drought uh, portal, which we will be using tomorrow. Because when you, once you register, somebody at DHI needs to then approve your registration before you can actually access it. It's the, uh, let me just show it briefly, I'll, I'll go through it more tomorrow. But it's a portal where you have all sorts of data. This is uh, the rainfall TRMM uh, for one day and the next day and like that. Um, and it's the Ganges Brahmaputra, which is the only area we can have access to. Um, but but uh, yeah, covering a good part of India here. So what you do is that you, uh, let me open this one. So you, you go to that, that portal, where many of you are, are already, I hope. And then if you click Log In, uh, you don't have any username and password yet. But down to the left is a possibility of register for new users, where the hand is, if you can see that on the screen here. Down here to the left. You can register new users. If you click that, it's gonna open a form where you can give your name and uh, occupation, email, and so on, right? Register for new users. Don't log in because you can't. You don't have yet, right? But register new users. That opens the other window. Uh, 
or it might be slightly different. But click on the register for users and then... Yeah. Uh, when you come to the lower part, where you, uh, you can select Basin, and there you have to select Asia for continent and then uh, Ganges Brahmaputra for Basin. If you select anything else, you will be rejected. Right? Ganges Brahmaputra. So you may have to, if it's not there, you may have to change to Asia. Oh, there it is, yeah, Ganges Brahmaputra Meghna, right? Name and yeah, lock in whatever, and of course remember your password because once you're registered, that's the one that will work. Everybody done? Yeah. Done. No. Okay, but you know what to do. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. But uh, Asia and Ganges Brahmaputra. If you do like that, that's it. Look at something. Well, this should be okay. That's a bit strange. Oh, May, it, name. Yeah, but but uh, I think it doesn't like the blanks. Maybe try now. Yeah. Okay. I don't. You, whether you can change it later, I don't know. But Isha Ganges Brahmaputra. Okay. Uh, default is fine. Default. Yeah. And Asia. But it might, if you go to your name, it, it looks like it doesn't, no, this should be okay. Is there a blank after this, if you click up here? Apparently it doesn't like blanks in the name. So either you give it, you know, just one name or underscore or something. And also make sure there's no blank at the end of the name. Right. Yeah. Anybody else not registered now? Otherwise, we can also look at it during tea. Um, What we'll do then is go back to this NAM model that, that uh, we went through yesterday and uh, uh, not use the actual NAM model but use this little tool that my colleague 
claim he programmed in another thing, um, which is called an AM calibrator. But it's, it's basically, it's, it's, we, don't, we don't actually use it to calibrate it, but we use it uh, in training courses like this because it's, it's very good to get a feeling for what is the impact of different parameters. And even though you're not going to use this particular model, all this type of model have the same kind of parameters. It's got overland flow coefficients and it's got root zones and so on. So, so, so seeing the impact of actually changing some of these is, uh, should in general hopefully be educational. Uh, in addition to that NAM calibrator, I hope that you have on your desktop also a brief description of NAM. Uh, I put it on a pen drive yesterday, but I'm not sure it was actually copied round. If not, we can, we can do it. Thank you.